Hey, hey, hey. This is After Healing at 1111. Um, are you up to no good? It is finally Friday, but I just wanted to come on here and uh, normally today's a day of silence, right? It's September 11th, but there are still some people still searching for some answers in this world, right? We had 9-11, then we had COVID, then you have mysterious things that happen all the time, whether it's illness, disease, defeat, complication, ugh, trouble with our kids, homeschooling, uh, whatever the case may be, Spirit did just want me to step in. I'm just going to run some Oracle cards today, uh, see where that leads me, see if it helps anyone with healing or watching from a distance, uh, just knowing that Spirit and Divine, uh, they got your back, like... Whatever it is that you're going through in this life, if you find your life purpose, it doesn't become a chore. It becomes a hobby. And that's like when people tell you they're in the best job and it feels like they're not working at all. So when you're in your element and you do what you love like me and all the other people that, you know, have wish fulfillment and manifested what they want, whether it's rich, poor, you know, English, Irish, Russian, Italian, whatever, children, no children, we have free will, but there are some things in our platform that came with us. That's the energy you need to clear from your past, and it is definitely the road that you take for the future. It is not the destination, it's the journey. So let's just enjoy it while you have it, right? Because you can't miss someone that you don't have. You can't have someone love you that never loved you. But you can enjoy what the gifts are that were given to you. And that might be to be married. That might be to be single. That might be to never have children. Whatever it is, embrace it because it was made just for you. I'm going to pull three at the top and three at the bottom and then see if we can get some clarity and see why Divine needed me to come on here today. It is Friday, so let's be fabulous. Maybe some of us are famous. Maybe some of us are just needing a freaking break. Who knows? Here we go. Spirits of Vine, Fathers and Gods. Ooh. Someone walk amongst us. Why we need guardian angels around us. May we have love and light. May we have our little fairies. So be childlike this weekend. Some people this summer's over. Some people may not even be in the summer yet. Depends where you are in the world. But thank you for stopping by and watching. It's like, share, it's a subscribe. I'm here to help people with whatever energies they have they need release on. Maybe some karmic issues. Maybe a narcissist. Uh, maybe some unusual thing that happens to you in your life that you need to overcome. Maybe, you know, it's vitality. Um, maybe it's ego. Maybe it's appearance. Maybe it's all the shit inside your heart you need to release. When you're here, just let it go. Make a wish on your life. You're worth it. That candle was lit with one wick. You're one person. You can keep your candle lit or you can blow it out. I'm going to choose to keep my light shining. So if you want to end drawn to my station, keep coming back for more. I finally got up on Facebook, Outdoor Healing 1111. I'm on Instagram, uh, Outdoor Healing 1111. And, um... Got a lot of other things in the works. My new cards are coming out also soon. My new Oracle deck. So I hope you love them. Love and light. Keep shining. Keep bright. Um, abundance is what we're going to work on today. I am limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. So that's it. I'm here for a little push, push. It's Friday. Believe in yourself. Sometimes it doesn't happen overnight, right? If you take it slow and steady, you win the race. If you want to go fast, go alone. I have that saying on my wall. And then behind me, abundance is truth. It's your higher self. I pulled this earlier for someone else. Two and one is three. It's Father, it's Son, it's the Holy Spirit. Believing that divine trinity is going to get you where you need to go. Believe in your inner power. That's that light that I have that I never let anyone put out. Yes, I've been in bad relationships. Yes, I've been in great relationships. It's called discernment. Don't put more pressure on yourself that you don't need be. Don't ever question your worth from someone else. If someone doesn't like you exactly where you are, then they're, you're not your right person. Don't limit yourself from finding the right person because when they come in, make sure the door is open. Don't shut the door before they get here. A lot of us are out there seeking love and companionship and the door is shut. Oh my God, it's COVID. Chicken pox. So is the mumps. They knew about COVID and God knew about COVID. So you know about you, God put you here for a purpose, whether that's love or not. Stop self-sabotaging. I feel like Kermit the Frog. Adversity, face it. Face it head on. There's nothing you can't do without the help of Jesus Christ. There's nothing that you can't help without your guides. Michael, the love fairy. 
and there's a million other angels waiting for you to call their name. There's just a few that we're familiar with. St. Anthony, if you're religious, if you lose something, call upon him. If you need Jesus, ask for help. Never limit your opportunity adversity. I accept the challenges. They're the best way to learn, right? If you didn't learn, you wouldn't grow. If you didn't grow, you wouldn't know or what you wanted to be. You'd draw in the wrong partner. Invention, create something, stand in a field, meditate, wear gloves, find your purpose, create a new life. If you don't like the one that you got, make up a new one. Shit, Marvel heroes, right? They could be whatever they want. Superheroes fly, no. They're superheroes, on, superheroes here on earth. We do magical things. There's people that'll leave an impression on your life that's better than kryptonite. That's better than gold. If you're homeless, you don't want gold. You want a roof over your head. If you're hungry, you don't need, you know, a million bucks. You just need a meal. Stop looking past your limitations. Use what you have in front of you. Create something wonderful. Finally, honesty. Be honest with yourself. If you're out there lying to yourself in your life, no one else is going to take you serious. And I'm an Aries. We're straight up honest, sometimes too honest. But if in the 12 astrological numbers, charged signs, if I wasn't honest to balance out a Libra's energy, then we wouldn't be full circle. That circle would not be 360 degrees. We'd be flat. And, the, and we'd all fall off at the end. They'd really be important. Don't let anything stop you from the beginning. And don't let anybody stop you from closing the cycle. It's your life. Live it the way you want. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself, right? Hold yourself accountable. Get in a group that does. That's why they have AA for alcoholics. Because if they can't keep themselves accountable, they have to go to a group. And until you build your strength, then you become a leader. It's a process with divine. If you want to be a manager, you have to go behind the scenes and work with a team. Management is strictly being self-disciplined. It's a well balance. It's not easy to be in management. Manage your own life before you want to manage other people's lives. Stay in your own lane. Physical body. Where there is two, there's more than one. But when there's two plus one, there's three, it's divine. The Gaia, the fruit, the everlasting life. Everybody can manifest abundance. Love, secrets are coming out. Happiness, your angels, full fruition. If you look at this, it's a man's face with this crazy hair. But if you look at it, it's two people asking divine to prosper their life and gain a new perspective. Step into your new life. It's yours. COVID-19 should have taught you all the things that spirit needed you to teach about your life. Not woe is me, restaurants closed. Guess what? Sin City, it's not running any longer. Yes, it was a huge financial situation that we lost. But think about it. If we're going to tell our kids not to sin, then we have to be the first ones to say that we're not going to sin either. And who might I say what's a sin? I'm not. I'm not here for judgment. We do that to ourselves every day. But it's what you believe that we send out into the world, especially with our children, that we have to hold someone accountable for. Hold yourself accountable. That's what Divine said today. It's Friday. You're fantastic. It's a new day to be free. You have free will. Frolic. Feel romantic. Do whatever's best for you. But fight for you. It's Friday. Stop by anytime you want. <laughs> if you want honesty. If you don't like honesty, don't come to my channel. Whoops. Slide to the right. Whoops. Slide to the left. Sometimes I curse. But sometimes when Divine wants someone to tell the honest truth, unfortunately, I have the job. Because I'm strong enough to do it. We don't always like the truth, but someone has to give it. So I wish you a great, abundant weekend. Stop obsessing about everything that's going on around you and do something about it. Fight for your rights. I don't say destruction. I say believe in yourself enough to know that what you send out in the universe is going to come back in triple fold. You deserve it. Fight for you. Have a fantastic Friday. Fight for your right. To Facebook. Hey, hit us up. 
come in. I'm, I'm doing a preview on Sunday the 13th around 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to make an introduction to my new Oracle cards. Hope you can be there. Namaste.